What really are these testimonials worth if they are actually getting paid to say all this in the first place? They're not good quality in any uh, aspect. So these guys are the worst so far. <laughs> so that was just a really half-assed attempt at trying to sell a watch. I, I, can I see some more backup for those statistics? I can make crazy claims too. Revolution. So it's an ad within an ad, guys. We're inside the matrix. What's going on, guys? Teddy Baldassar here. And today we have something kind of fun planned. So chances are even before this video, you may have saw an ad for a watch brand. And typically the watch brands that are advertising online, you get bombarded with different fashion watch brands. I've talked about it at great length, but typically they make bold claims and the product behind those bold claims is usually not very good. So I thought what would be fun is reacting to some of the Kickstarter, different ad campaigns that some of these brands run with their lofty claims and just dissecting them a little bit. Uh, as always, if you guys are new to watches, I'll have some helpful places to go down below. I just put together a nice blog looking at 30 watch brands that you probably should know about, kind of giving a Cliff Notes version of the industry and maybe what to be aware of. Also some other helpful videos that I've done in the past dissecting subjects of this manner and maybe where to start. So first up on our list here, we actually have a brand that has been a little bit newer to this scene. It's Filippo Loretti. So I've seen these guys get pushed around quite a bit. The first time actually I heard about this was because my mom sent me a message probably a couple years ago with like a Forbes article. I guarantee it was a paid Forbes article because you can do that. But it was talking about how these guys are revolutionizing the watch industry. And my mom was saying, hey, have you heard about these guys? And I was just like, oh gosh, even my mom is not safe from the fashion watch world. So the first one that we have here is, there's technically two Kickstarter campaigns. The first one that they did a few years ago they asked for $25,000, they raised $926,000, and then they did another Kickstarter campaign, and the videos are very similar, they just are promoting different watches. But the second campaign that they did, they raised $3.5 million. <laughs> that is insane, they're only looking for $20,000. So whatever they said in this, it definitely did a good job getting the message across. So let's watch the first one. How would you define a luxury watch? I would guess that the first words that come to mind are high quality, exclusive, great design, and of course, expensive. But that last word always made us wonder, does it really have to be expensive? As it turns out, the only reason high quality timepieces are so expensive is because the distributors, wholesalers, and retail stores mark up the price of a luxury watch by up to 1000%. Our team at Filippo Loretti set out to create a new way to buy a luxury watch, a fair way. We bring a line of Italian luxury watches. Let me guess, they're gonna talk about cutting out the middleman. This is a common theme we're gonna see throughout, I'm guessing, because this is the main marketing message that's been through all of these watch brands for the past five to 10 years since these things have been popping up. And there's certainly markup when it comes to watches, but I would love to see the comparison in which they're seeing their competition being. If they're talking about high-end fashion watch, brands that are in department stores, maybe you can make the claim that there's certainly some markup and what you're getting at the end of the road is not good, but to say that they're revolutionizing an industry, they're cutting out a middleman, uh, I, I do think that we're setting up here for Directly some disaster, let's see. At a fraction of the retail price. Here's how we did it. First, we took inspiration from our favorite destinations in the birthplace of all luxury, Italy. Then, for the past three years, we've been developing our design concept, and in collaboration with professional jewelry experts, we've created four watch series each with its own unique character and Whenever a brand, a watchmaker, or some watch brand is showing their studio or their office and it looks like a WeWork, uh, run in the other direction, they're definitely not watchmakers anyway. There's no watchmaker involved. Partnering with the world's leading timepiece manufacturers, we source the best quality materials. In fact, we are so confident in the quality of our watches that each one is covered by a 10-year warranty. 10 year warranty. I'm a little skeptical because if you're just a Kickstarter brand that is just starting as a company and you're claiming 10 years, most companies don't make it that long. Most companies don't even make it half that long when they're first starting. So just out of curiosity, I pulled out the warranty. It looks like they're still offering a 10 year warranty. These guys are still around, but it doesn't cover a lot of things. And some of these, you know, you can't expect them to cover like water damage and things of that sort. Uh, or damage resulting from improper use, lack of care or accidents, aesthetic changes resulting from normal wear, tear and aging, so scratching the case, crystal, all of these types of things, excessive contact with water, that's understandable because that could be really operator error, and then any other type of repairs are done by a third party to correct it. 10-year warranty is only worth 10 years if the product can last 10 years. So these products are not made to last 10 years. What is a 10-year warranty really worth if it's all really just protecting 
is the first maybe week out of the box. So 10 year warranty. And what's more, you will know that your watch is one of only 500 manufactured because all lines are strictly limited edition. Our manufacturers are ready to go and all we need is your initial support. Make a pledge by buying one of these luxury timepieces at a founder's price. And please keep sharing this video because the more of us say yes to fairly priced luxury, the faster we will see the change for good. Thank you, Kickstarter. So the watches themselves are clearly using cheap Chinese manufacturing process. They what typically what happens here is they get one prototype, they have to throw X amount of money down, and then they're gonna get enough money to really produce all these watches. They only are asking for $20,000 to make 500 watches. So that all tells you everything you really need to know in terms of what they're trying to go here. I'm a little bit familiar with these guys. I've seen them in the background, what they've been doing. And for one, they talk about being Italian. I know that they're not Italian. I just see this as very deceiving, saying something is affordable luxury. A luxury to me is, in itself, it's something that should be sought after to a degree. It's not something that can be mass produced. And the affordable luxury and disrupting an industry type of jargon uh, and really cutting out the middleman idea is actually not necessarily true at all. There's certainly markup in watches to a, a great degree. But if you compare it to other luxury goods, this is not the number one place in which it's happening. I know it doesn't take exactly $2,000 to make this MacBook. There's markups everywhere. It just really comes down to someone capitalizing on, I think a lot of people maybe being naive to watches and being really good at digital marketing. So this brand's done a, clearly a good job, but I don't see any revolution happening here. All right, so now we have another one here, uh, Vincero. I think Vincero is a way to say it. And I actually, in I think 2014, 2015, I actually owned one of these watches. I did end up buying one of these watches uh, because I was in college and I was just like, hey, let's just give it a shot. Uh, I was interested, I got bombarded with their ads and I fell for it. So let's see what this one has to say. Based on these two watches alone, which man would you rather date? This one. And why? It's a sexy watch, and so like hopefully the guy wearing it is sexy too. This is Vincero. Boldly designed watches for under $200. They don't just blend in and look like every other watch out there. It's a watch that people, they're gonna notice. If you're looking for an affordable watch, but something that the quality is amazing, the price. These are all definitely, these are paid influencers. I've actually, I, I, for some reason I've recognized maybe that first guy somewhere, but uh, definitely paid influencers. So what really are these testimonials worth if they are actually getting paid to say all this in the first place? The point of these watches are really perfect, especially for gift giving. And they provide affordable timepieces at super high quality. They sell direct for the customer, so there's no kind of middleman. Middleman jargon again, there we go. I wear these watches, you guys, probably every other day, and I'm always getting compliments on them. They're classy, they are very reasonably priced, and the quality is exceptional. We spend three times more on materials and manufacturing. I, I, can I see some more backup for those statistics? I mean, I, I can make crazy claims too. Guys, I spend 10 more times putting together my videos than any other guy talking about watches on the internet. Uh, don't look at in, into it any further. Just trust me on that one. The result? Thoughtfully designed watches with higher quality materials and over 20,000 five-star reviews to back them up. Honestly, there's nothing quite like getting complimented all the time on what you're wearing, and that's exactly what has happened to me since I got my first Sincero watch. The attention to detail is fantastic. The price for what you get is great. The link is there right now as an exclusive discount for you guys only. It's not going to last forever. Click the link to explore a wide selection of styles, straps and accessories and go find your watch Oof. that's clean okay i mean some of these watches don't actually look that bad i can actually speak to it because i've actually owned one of these watches they're not good quality in any uh, aspect i think they're definitely a step up from like a brand like a movement or a daniel wellington but it's not saying much if these brands were just honest and just saying like hey we just create fashionable watches Stop talking about this cutting out the middleman stuff. This one ad is not as bad as some of the other ones I've seen, so I'm not gonna hammer these guys like crazy. I do think it's a little disingenuous to feature testimonials from influencers that you're clearly paying as part of a campaign as a way to run, run an ad. So it's an ad within an ad, guys. We're inside the matrix. Oh boy. All right, but guys, let's go to the next one here. This is a brand I am actually not familiar with. I've not seen this before. Uh, it's a brand called Vellucci. Did you ever want to buy a luxury watch? but the ridiculous prices held you back from actually buying one. That's exactly the problem we were facing with all these luxury watch brands. Does this marketing sound familiar yet? <laughs> oh my goodness. We are bringing you a luxury watch. Vellucci. Sounds like they're going off the Italian branding again. At a down-to-earth price. This is how we did it. We asked ourselves, 
Does a luxury watch Boy, here comes. really have to be expensive? We have been cutting out all the hidden fees you normally you <laughs> pay. Think of branding costs, distributors, retail stores, and toys. So apparently all these brands all discovered the same thing, that there's this giant middleman that's existing. And again, there is markup in all the products that you're buying anywhere. That's business. I think the markup's only an issue when the product that you get at the end is not in essence worth anything or it doesn't retain its value to some degree. And most well-made watches do retain their value to some degree. Of course, many are gonna take a hit, but these watches simply are worth nothing when you buy them. And speaking of this watch, it basically is the love child, the bastard child between a Royal Oak and a Milgauss. Let's just put the Milgauss secondhand on a, a knockoff Royal Oak, but let's keep going. All our watches are going directly to the end customer. We proudly present our new watch brand, Falucci. A brand inspired by the two greatest cities of Europe. So what they have to say. Amsterdam and Milan. I mean, they're good cities, but it needs a little. We yeah. combine the beautiful architecture of both cities into our collection. These guys are the worst so far. Plenty <laughs> of designs and countless samples later, we came up with a perpetual calendar series. A watch series that's guaranteed to turn heads wherever you go. Uh oh, we're inside a WeWork we again, are a guys. Small, diverse team of creative millennials. Uh oh. On a mission. Yep, add those stars on. This is definitely how watches industry. are made. There is some design process that is like this that they use Illustrator or some type of CAD. Only the best hand. Literally, I, I mean, honestly, I should just make a funny spoof of a Kickstarter campaign. Start with the backstory, talk about how they're gonna cut out the middleman and these ambitious claims. Then it moves into this luxury persona. Let's pull in an Italian name, talk about that. Then let's show the sketches. Even though uh, the sketches, you know, we probably didn't do them ourselves. They're probably just outsourced to some place in China that's gonna do this all for us on our behalf. But let's put the sketches out on a nice wooden table. Then after we do that, let's show our computer and then show how we're gonna actually create the nice mock-ups, the digital mock-ups. And then we're gonna actually show us cutting the leather ourselves. We're doing all this, all of it in-house. We're one of the greatest revolutionary brands out there. So it's all, it's all a formula and they're all doing the same thing over and over again. It's crazy. Picked Italian leather is used for our leather straps and travel cases. By backing one of our watches, you'll be joining our revolution to make luxury accessible. Revolution. Luxury accessible. We hope to see you on the other side. So that was just a really half-assed attempt at trying to sell a watch. I don't, I've never heard of these guys before. Apparently people are getting bombarded with these guys all the time with their ads, but just another one, same thing. You've seen the trends here. It's all the same process that they are getting across with their messaging. So, all right, so next up we have a fan favorite, movement watches. So I think the first video that I have here is their initial Kickstarter campaign. I have indeed seen this video many times. I did a full documentary on movement. I actually talked to the guy in this video, Jake Kassan. He is the CEO of movement. And I give him props for being able to take tough questions. He did dodge a lot of them, but he's honestly a pretty good guy. And the watches though, it's another story. So let, let's take a look here. Some of you may not know this, but that really expensive watch you've always wanted only costs a fraction of the price to make. Brands create artificially high prices and invest heavily in marketing to craft an image of luxury and quality. Giving our desire to want nice things, we are under the false impression that you get what you pay for. My name's Jake. One of the questions I had for Jake was just right off the bat, right to the start of this company, they talk about this whole just illusion of these brands selling you this image, just the marketing dollars behind them and the product not being worth it. And I just found it pretty contradictory to the fact that he literally became the very thing he sought out to destroy, just right off the bat. That I could not think of a better claim to describe moving than what he just said right there. I respect these guys hustle though. They sold their company for $100 million, I think another 100 million based on performance. And I believe that they went and bought a camera to make this Indiegogo campaign from Best Buy and then returned it because they couldn't afford the actual camera. So props to them, man. They started low and, and this is movement watches. made a lot happen. That looks so bad. 
In designing this watch collection, we made sure of three things. A right, here we go, mock-ups again. Be worn in the casual or professional setting. The highest quality materials, and lastly, offering the watches at a price more than half of what our competitors cost. For our first collection, we have six different models to choose from. These include a 45 millimeter case, complemented by a 24 millimeter band, made with a high quality 316 low carbon grade stainless steel. It's a beautiful looking watch. Inside, oh, we around. are using a three hand Japanese <laughs> so cord that looks so generic. So I, I always, I mean, I like minimalist style. I mean, you look at a brand like a Nomos or a Junghans who have minimalist ideas within their design formula, but I think there's minimalism as a pursuit and then there's minimalism as a way of absence of thought. So it's not intended minimalism, it's just minimalism based on the fact that there is no thought going into the design. And I don't think that is true minimalism, but it's clearly what they were trying to get across. So I can't go through all the aspects of why this is not a good watch here, but I mean, like, just look at that. Does that look like a thoughtful design? I've handled many movement watches, so um, they do handle as bad in person as they look right here. And this is probably one of their most basic designs that they have. I think they still sell this as well. The more we raise, the more we can do. We want a full line of different types and styled watches that stay at an affordable cost. So join with us on this journey and be a part of it every step of the way. I mean, all of these guys, I mean, if they do raise the money, I mean, people can do whatever they want with their money at the end of the day. And the fact that they can hustle to do it, that's great. Um, I, based on talking to Jake, at least, he seemed like just a genuine guy who just saw an entrepreneurial opportunity uh, and just went at it. I don't think he realized what he was actually doing until he got really into it and realized that his watches were actually not well-made. Some of these other guys, I think, are just very disingenuous. Movement, Daniel Wellington, these guys kind of created the model for everybody else to kind of follow. So not giving them as an out, but you see the format. You see the flow in which is being followed here. Same formula every single time, same value proposition presented by each one of these brands as their own. So guys, that is just looking deeper at some of these watches. Again, I've went over in the past alternatives for these type of watches. If you are just looking to spend your money, you can spend your money however you want. Um, and I, I just kind of don't like when some of these brands make these big claims and make it seem that they are starting a revolution in the watch industry because they're not. Uh, if they were honest about it, I'd have less of an issue with it. If say some of these fashion brands were just saying, hey, we just create a nice looking watch for a reasonable price or affordable price, I wouldn't have the biggest idea, uh, problem with them. But they're saying they're revolutionizing industry, so we have to call them out on it. But guys, if you did like the video, uh, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. I uh, would love to do more of these in the future. Maybe looking at some popular watch brands, mainstream watch brands, because they're pretty much notorious for being bad at marketing unlike these guys that are usually good at marketing. So we could look at that as well. That could be fun uh, to take a look at some good ads from or bad ads from those type of mainstream brands. I think we all know the names. In addition, I'll leave some links in the description if you are earlier on in your watch journey to helpful blogs, as well as videos that I've done in the past, looking at some great affordable options, as well as maybe just educating you on what to look out for, red flags on different brands like this, as well as what actually goes in or what needs to be known if you're trying to get into watches and you know, creating a nice guide. I had like an eight step process of a video that I did in the past. Head over to teddyballstar.com, full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry. Some great brands on that site, some great alternatives here compared to what we're seeing. Brands like an Orient, a Timex, no crazy claims, just solid watches for the money. And we can't match that Filippo Loretti 10 year warranty for some of our brands, but many of the brands that we're carrying are gonna way outlast those in the last 10 years in terms of actually being able to still work. So that's something. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Appreciate you for watching. See you in the next one. And I'll see you all very soon.